Philly. Where you need to be as tough as the fans to earn respect. It's a courageous Cunningham run to the relentless pursuit of Reggie White. Like Dick Vermeer, these eagles come to work. It's about elevation in the ATL. It's the flight of Tony G. The Dirty Birds. And Dion High stepping to pay dirt. To rise up to the challenge. The playoffs are now in full swing as we get set for this divisional round matchup between the Philadelphia Eagles and the Atlanta Falcons here at the Georgia Dome. Hello, friends. Jim Nance along with Bill Sims. This divisional round matchup just moments away. Kickoff approaching. Are these teams ready to go? They're ready to go, and I'll tell you, more importantly, the coaches are ready to go. We have two daring guys on the sideline who will take chances. Can't wait to watch. And now, with more on today's game, let's go down to Danielle Bellini. Thanks, Jim. The question that's come up the most this week is who would you rather be, a team coming off a bye or a team coming off a big win in the wild card round? Guys, it's a tough call. No surprise that depending on which side you speak with, they'll tell you they're in a better position. But guys, as you know, only one side can move on to the NFC Conference Championship. So we're going to find out soon enough who it will be. Guys, back to you. Danielle, thank you very much. Now we'll go to the field. Eagles getting set for the kickoff. And he runs it out to about the 27 before he's taken down. Davis heading out now. He'll, of course, be leading this offense today. Offense lines up here. First and 10, Steven Jackson gets it here. Got a big lane, unstoppable. Nice piece of running by Steven Jackson. Bill, you always talk about establishing the run early, and they do it with that one big play. Well, they sure did. This offensive line and that play, they put a whipping on the defensive linemen and linebackers that time, and a good job by the running back taking advantage of it. One of the most reliable receivers in the NFL is Roddy White. Roddy White and Julio Jones might be the best tandem wide receivers in the NFL. Roddy White, big, strong, and fast. He is definitely an elite wide receiver. Well, when you give up a running play that that's long, you got to say this to the defense. You did not hustle enough. If you are hustling, when that running back makes that secondary move, you got to be there to make the tackle. Swarm the football. That's how you stop long runs. Bill, you came through in the clutch many times in the postseason. Was it you just weren't as prepared for the regular season? You just didn't care as much? Why did you star so much in the playoffs? Well, you're right. It's just a regular season game, so nobody cared. So I wanted to wait till the spotlight was on. That penalty is, of course, going to be accepted by the defense. Failing to complete that one, so second down here. Takes the staff from the shotgun, running away from the pressure. And they sack the quarterback. This Philadelphia defense has quite a presence with D'Amico Ryans. Yeah, D'Amico Ryans, we saw him make a lot of tackles with the Houston Texans, and he did the same thing last year with the Eagles defense. He knows how to get to the football. From the gut. In trouble now. He's going deep. The catch it. Touchdown. When you're in a divisional round of the playoffs, the pressure builds. Teams get tight, but when you're the first one to score like that, 
Wow, what a boost. It makes you feel great. Let the other team chase you. The Falcons for the extra point. And the point after is good. The Eagles are prepared to return the kickoff. That's a touchback, and the ball will be spotted at the 20. Here's the pride of Virginia Tech. Michael Vick taking the field for the first time today. Johnson's a receiver in the slot. Midway through the first. They feed the running back. Deshaun Jackson is a player to watch with game-breaking ability. He is slick and fast. You must create ways on the offensive side to get the football to Deshaun Jackson because he can make it happen. And today's starting lineups have been brought to you by Papa John's Pizza. Better ingredients, better pizza, Papa John's. Brings it in. As we take a look at the defense for the first time today, these starters in the secondary will be challenged today in both the passing and running games. Avant's going to get set in the slot for this snap. Third and three. Screen play is on. He makes the catch. Three and out. That was just a dumb call. When you throw it behind the line of scrimmage like that, you deserve to lose some yards. That's what happened on that play. He's going to try and return this punt. The tackle is made. <laughs> Steven Jackson lined up in the backfield. First and ten. Gives it to Steven Jackson. Patrick Chong makes the hit. The off-tackle run. It's just what it says it is. You're going to read the tackle's block and decide whether you're going to go inside or outside. Usually, this is the first running play every team puts in their offense when they go to training camp. On second down and five. On the run. Challenging the defenders to the right side. Spins out of the tackle. And he's brought down by Connor Barwin. Let's see what they do on first down following that huge play. And the second quarter is underway with this snap. And D'Amico Ryans makes the tackle. Nice job by the quarterback finding the open guy short. They get the completion. They still do not get the first down, though. Jackson's lined up as the single back. Second down, three to go. Atlanta in the end zone. Touchdown. When you got a lead, you march down the field and you add on that lead with a touchdown, it's fun to watch the other team. Will they stay patient or will they panic? My bet is they'll panic. Getting ready to kick it off. The returner opts for the touchback, and the offense will begin at the 20. Johnson's in the slot. First down and 10. OC Human Yura brings the quarterback down. That's what all defensive coordinators love to see. When they don't have to blitz, and one of their defensive linemen gets a sack without any blitzing. Catch is made. 
They've got him down there. How about that? You throw the football behind the line of scrimmage, and the running back catches it and makes a big play out of it. He's able to make people miss, and he can break tackles. This guy is a force. Third and three. Here's the give to LaShawn McCoy. The tackle's going to be made, but he's beyond the first down marker. Two-minute warning. Michael Vick will be under center. First and ten. The throw to the left. Should have had it. It's really simple. Keep your eyes on the football. When you're not on it, that's when you drop it, and that's what happened that time. Selleck's a tight end, but now shifted into the backfield. Second down and 10. Looking to the right side and throwing. Going to lose yards here. And let's go! Selleck's moved away from the tight end position to now a receiver in the slot. That catch will extend the drive. And now they'll be on the other side of the 50 after this play. That long gain sets them up here on this play. He's looking to the right here on this throw. Incomplete. After the incomplete pass, it brings up second down. Working that left side, the Eagles now move the chains. Good job getting the first down by the offense. And look at the defensive players on the sideline cheering there. Teammates on. Keep us on the sideline a little longer. That's what they're hoping for. First and 10. He'll fire it out to the left. And incomplete. LaShawn McCoy is in the backfield. Looking for an open receiver on the right. Incomplete as that ball sails out of bounds. This has been a long drive so far. Third and ten. Looking for a receiver on the left side here. Incomplete. Terrible throw by the quarterback. Terrible route by the wide receiver. Oh, wow, what a shock. The football was incomplete. It converts on the three. The Falcons in kick return formation. out past the 20 and brought down at the 24. Steven Jackson lined up in the backfield. Davis is going to take it from the gun. Pass is made and it's incomplete. The hit jars the ball out. And Gonzalez is usually a tight end, but he's in the backfield this time. The Eagles signal for a timeout. They have two Let's remaining. Let's see what they do on this third down situation. Throwing now to his left. Julio Jones with the grab. That's a timeout by the D. After that timeout by the defense, play is ready to resume. From the eye, they give it to the deep back. That's a tackle by Kenny Phillips. That's a good play that time by the offensive coordinator. Fourth down try. He makes the right call, and they pick up the first down. First down here after the run. Davis back in shotgun formation. Challenges the coverage and has the completion. Falcons call the timeout. They're first. They've got a first down now after that catch. And 
Davis has got it in the gun. Going to take off with it. Throws to the right. Makes the grab. The offense stops the clock right away with a timeout. And Gonzalez is moved from the tight end position to the slot. Out of the shotgun formation. Challenging the defenders to the right side. It's incomplete. The defender had it for a moment, but could not pick it off cleanly. Loading up with extra defensive backs in the dime. Third down and two. Looking to the right side and throwing. Easy catch there. No one near him. And the offense will call a timeout. Should be an easy one here. for the first half. Eagles trail in this one. Falcons getting ready to kick it off. He'll have to accept the touchback. Nickel formation for the defense here. The third quarter begins with this play. As much as these guys practice during the offseason, training camp, during the week, you think receivers and quarterbacks would always be on the same page. That time they were not, and it's another incomplete pass. Good piece of tackling. You got to keep your offensive lineman aggressive, so you have to run the football every once in a while. That run, even though it was a short game, it served a purpose. Right 20. Right 20. Third and seven. LaShawn McCoy takes the handoff. They bring him down, and the offense fails to pick up a first down on three plays. The punt team is in place and ready to perform. He's going to try and return this one. Steven Jackson lined up in the backfield. First and ten. Jackson's got it on the handoff. Has a terrible read by the running back. It's a short game, but it's all his fault. He picked the wrong hole. He should have cut it back. He didn't, and that's why he was tackled. This will be second down. Dropping back three. He's looking to the right here on this throw. Brought down by Trent Cole. Nice catch that time by the wide receiver on the slant route. Quarterback puts it right on target. That reception gave them the first down. Here's the handoff and they'll run it. Well, a short gain on the run that time by the offense. When you're a running football team, listen, there's going to be a lot of ugly plays that don't work. You just got to keep running it. Midway into the third, escaping the pressure, makes the catch in the open field. The defense has got to be a little aggressive here. Your team is down. You've got to attack this offense. You don't want them to get in there and get another score. Let's see how they back up the big play here. Action fake. Looks to his left. Wide. He's in the end zone. Touchdown. Well, you got a lead. You drive down the field. You score a touchdown. Now we're going to find out if the other team can stay patient or will they panic. The point after try is in the books. The Eagles now have even more work to do to get back into this one. Scores 24 to 3. He'll kneel here. No reason to try his luck on the return. So the offense off the touchback will begin at the 20.
An extra tight end on the field for this one. First and ten. Looking for an open receiver on the right. When you pick up first downs against the defense, they will get tired. That time, nice job by the offense getting the first down, even though they're losing here in the game. First and 10, McCoy, left side. And he's brought down right at the 43. That's a bread and butter play by all offenses in the NFL. Get a few yards and get that first down. Selleck's a tight end, but lined up in the backfield for this play. First and 10, on first down, it's back to the ground game. Now, they take the football onto the opponent's side of the field. When you're an offensive lineman and you can line up and just run the football straight ahead and pick up those kind of yards, you are gonna get into the head of the defense. You're basically saying, we're tougher than you are and we're just gonna come right at you. Good job that time by the running back. I'm sure he's a little winded after that play. He showed that speed getting out there and picking up those extra yards. New set of downs now after picking up the first on the ground. Watch the blitz, watch the blitz. Michael Vick will be under center. The final quarter begins with this snap. That ball has been picked up. What a terrible job by the quarterback. Like nobody's open, tries to force the pass, and look. What's it turned into an interception? First down on the way. Out of the eye. The give to the tailback. Well, I know it's not going to make a highlight film, but still a good solid run up in there for a couple yards. After the two-yard carry, it sets up second down and eight. Quarterback drops back, play action. White's there with a sure hand to pull in the rocket pass. When you can't hit the quarterback or put pressure on him, there's not much you're going to get done then. That time, quarterback had time and throws it down the field for another completion. After the long game, let's see what they do here. Handoff. Game of six. Always good to have these types of runs. Hey, it's not a first down, but it sends a message. It shows everybody that you can run it when you want to. And also, it opens up so many other things for your offense. Trying to work that left side. Just two minutes left in this one now. Back in a moment. Nice situation here for the offense. They're winning the football game. Now they're in the red zone. Let's see if they can come up with a play that fools the defense. First and 10. Trying to make something happen. Throws to the right. Tony Gonzalez with the ball. And you can see how they fared in the red zone to this point, which is brought to you by Verizon. That leads us to second down. Time is beginning to run out here midway in the fourth. The pass complete. Well, that last play almost got him in here. And when you look at this, what do they do? Well, you just want to punch it in. There's a lot of, a lot of different scenarios. You could do a play action fake, probably get somebody wide open, or have a running back just jump over the top for the touchdown. Bill, they can put the game away right now, but mainly they just have to be careful with the football. Yeah, they got to be careful, Jim, no doubt about it. They're playing against a defense that's fast and aggressive and willing to take chances. This is going to be tough. Ready to make the stop, and he's in. about that the fullback scores the touchdown he does all the blocking gets beat up all the time but nothing like getting the football where you can score to get it done makes the PAT
The Eagles' hopes are now slim and none as they surrender a late score. The score's 31 to 3. Smart play here, just take a knee. The defense comes out of the dime. First and ten. Catch is made. Avant lined up now as a slot receiver. Eyeing that left side, right where it had to be. Now first and ten. He'll fire it out to the left. Reaches out and snatches it. And a flag is down. That brings the play to an end. 